From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Poetry Today. Hello, I'm Brittany Jo Henningmeyer, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Chris Schneider. Poetry Today is different than classical forms. Reporter Caitlin Eaton speaks with poet Julie Pagel about the changing art form. Poetry is an art form that many use as an outlet to express themselves. It is seen everywhere, from your favorite song to what you read in school. Professor Julie Pagel discusses contemporary poetry. Who are poets today? Poets today include such a wide and diverse array of voices. It's really incredible. And just to stick to the United States, poets range from wonderful language poets like Jory Graham, Heather McHugh, Kay Ryan, to out here on the West Coast, our own Juan Delgado, Nathaniel Mackey, who's at UC Santa Cruz, Juan Felipe Herrera, who just won a prestigious national prize for his volume, Half the World in Light. We also have Ching Yi Chen here locally, um, whose book, The Heart's Traffic, has been making a real splash on the national scene. How has poetry changed from the classics? You know, my own passion as a poet draws from classical epic poets, um, Homer, Virgil, and then moving on more to more recent um, times, Dante, Spencer, Milton. So I'm particularly passionate about contemporary poets who work with epic and mythic themes. Um, I would say that one wonderful change is that more and more diverse voices are being canonized today. So if you open a Norton, you might find terrific performance poets. You might sign find some slam poetry in there, you know. So I would just say that the range of voices getting into print is much wider, you know, than it used to be. And I think that's a terrific thing. How do you think um, people have been able to expand on their poetry? You know, it's, um, there are so many factors involved, but I think at a minimum, it's that more and more folks have access to education, to universities like this one, and even just to reading, reading groups, reading clubs. There are great poets in the schools programs. And so my hope and my endeavor here at Cal State is that more and more folks get exposed to poetry, perhaps than in certain periods in the past, and want to you know, take a, an attempt at it themselves. Where can we find poetry in our everyday lives? That's a terrific question. You know, thanks to Billy Collins' initiatives of a few years ago, it really is everywhere. And of course, it depends a little bit who you ask. I mean, some folks think tagging qualifies as a wonderful poetic art form, you know. So I would say, you know, on those freeway overpasses. Um, but you can really find it almost anywhere, you know. I'm surprised by how many, say, greeting cards have terrific poets on there, you know, Rainer Maria Rilke, or, so I, I really think it's hard to even walk around with your eyes open and not find poetry. Roses are red, violets are blue, poetry is for everyone, including you. For Local Matters, I'm Caitlin Eaton. Nice poem, Caitlin. Well, that's all we have for now. I'm Chris Schneider. And I'm Brittany Jo Henningmeyer. Join us next time for more local stories that matter. The College of Business and Public Administration established an executive leadership class, which hosts top CEOs weekly, including Jack Brown of Stater Brothers Markets, the only Fortune 500 company in the Inland Empire, and prominent auto dealer Ramon Alvarez. And Lloyd Peake, professor of management, was chosen the university's outstanding professor. You failed to signal your turn. You didn't come to a complete stop, and your left tail light is out. That's uh, three things together. <laughs> so it's cheaper, right? Like the charter bundle, digital cable, phone, and high-speed internet all together for less. <laughs> you know, bundling? <laughs> I don't think the laws of bundling apply. Could they, though? Bring your home to life and save big with the charter bundle. Call today.